Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Today is a short but sweet. I thought I would do a look at Doug's favorite three pens. Well, three of my top favorite pens, but my best pen and ink combinations of three pens. And also I'm going to give you a sneak preview of coming attractions. Look, I'm your friend. I'm here to please you. Trust me, I know what you want. The previews, the coming attractions. For September. So, let's start looking at my top three pens. I've been writing with these almost every day. I keep them in this leather case from italianpens.com. This was a gift from pen friend and channel mentor, Joel Terrell. Thank you, Joel. I use this every day. It has a magnetic closure on it, which is wonderful. And let's take out the first pen. This, I have reviewed all of these pens and I'll put the links in the description. This is my Waterman Karen, 18 karat gold nib, inlaid. Beautiful, beautiful pen. And I actually did a uh, poll uh, asking you folks which ink should go in this pen when I first reviewed it and the winner was and it was a real winner too Diamine Ancient Copper I already had this ink but the match between this ink and this pen is just delightful and I'm going to do some tests of each pen and each ink here in a moment the next pen in Doug's top collection here is my Moonman M800. This was my first M800 and all of my M800s I never liked the nibs so I did a nib swap on this one and boy this has become one of my top writers. This is a Pen BBS fine mini Fude nib. Those of you that follow my channel know that I love this style of nib and this particular one is up there probably number two number one or number two smoothest pen bbs nibs i've ever had and i paired this pen with this wonderful ink kwz azure number five not only is this ink beautiful in terms of its deep blue and its uh, shading ability but it also smells lovely as it smells like vanilla so you get this wonderful writing sensation and um, olfactory sensation as well and the third one is my leonardo momento zero in hawaii blue this is a gorgeous gorgeous fountain pen if you looked at the review of this, you'll note that I bought two nibs from uh, Apple Bomb, uh, Leonardo nibs for it. Neither one were, well, neither one wrote right out of the box, but I got them both working. I took this one to my pen guru, Jack, Jack Hernandez, and he ground it into an architect italic. It was abroad, now it's an architect italic and this i paired with this shimmering ink from j urbain it's kyanite du nepal part of their 1798 collection and i have to thank pen friend susan for sending me a sample of this i marched right out and got a full bottle of it and boy i'm glad i did and i put it in my sailor prophet and i did that review it was a it was a fude nib and i gave that pen to my pen friend janice local pen friend and she did this drawing for me with that ink i'm going to close up on this because not only does it shimmer but look at the different colors of shading that she gets out of that the dark colors the light colors and the layering that she's done just amazing thank you Janice but before I get to the writing samples with each of these pens 
I want to give you a sort of a preview of coming attractions. Coming up in the month of September, we're going to see this pen. This is from pen friend Sean uh, on loan. Uh, Sean's from Edmonton, and he sent me this wonderful Conklin Nozak. This is one of the Italian-made ones in this Toledo red magnetic cap. Beautiful, large Conklin medium nib. And then we're going to see this interesting pen, which looks like the color doesn't say it in the ad when I bought this, but it looks very much like my Galaxy pens, which I like so much. This is an Admok. I'd never heard of the pen before, A-D-M-O-K. And it is a resin pen with a nice large resin section. And we're going to give this nib a try. My first experience with the Schmidt was that it was a pile of Schmidt. And we'll see whether this one's any good. And next we will take a look at, yes, another pen PBS pen. Oh no, not again. This is Pen BBS 480 in cedar. I have this in a 308 as well. In photos, it doesn't look that remarkable, but when you look at it up close, those darker bands have incredible chatoyance and shimmer to them. Lovely pen. And then we're going to look at this interesting fountain pen from my very good friend and fountain pen enabler, Ron. Uh, this is an Acme Frank Lloyd Wright, which he picked up in uh, Los Angeles, I believe. A very interesting fountain pen that has a very large steel nib. And we're also going to look at this pen, which I previewed recently as well. This is the Schaefer Tyrannus in the Ferrari edition. Uh, this is um, on loan from friend Eric in Scotland. We'll take a look at that. And at some point this month or early next month, we will take a look at another Pen BBS. This is the Pen BBS 308. I finally snagged one in Galaxy, quickly becoming my favorite finish. And then uh, there are some pens that I have on the way. Uh, this one is the Leonardo Ferrore in a finish called Salt with gold trim. And I've ordered it with a 1.1 stub nib, which should be very interesting. Should be here in a couple weeks. So hopefully we'll have it in for September. And also a friend is sending me one of these for review. This is a grail pen. This is the Pelican Souverain M805 Streisman. I wanted to hold a Pelican M800 and I've never had the opportunity. So this will be very, very interesting. So thank you to Sam for sending that out. Uh, that should arrive in a couple weeks as well. And now we'll do the writing samples with my three top pen and ink combinations. So here we go. First up is with the Waterman Karen. And this is a medium. 18 karat gold nib. And I should mention that I'm using watercolor paper here. This is not fountain pen friendly, but it's getting an interesting texture to it. I thought this would be cool. Plus I like the card and I'm going to keep it. And of course the ink is diamine or diamine, ancient copper. And 
And next up is the Moon Man. M800 Galaxy and it has a fine steel nib which is from Pen BBS. And last but not least is my Leonardo. Memento Zero. You might recognize this pen and the ink from the introduction that I put on all my videos. People have asked about that. And this has a broad architect italic. And there they are, Doug's top three pen and ink combinations. And that's it for now. That's a preview of September coming attractions. And I thank you for watching. And if you want to see all these videos in September, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell to get a notification when all of those videos pop up. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.